Okay, so let's create your first request in Content Snare. To do that, you're going to come to the Requests page first and then hit the Add New Request button up the top. I'm going to give the request a name. Uh, so let's just say Test Website uh, for now. We're going to create a new client uh, called My Client. You probably won't have any clients set up in the system yet, so this is just going to be a, a temporary one. Um, now, you can put your client's uh, email in here. Uh, for now, they're not going to get any emails though because we're going to use this internal switch here to turn that on. And what that means is that all emails that would have normally gone to your client will come to you instead. So this is for internal projects where you want to fill out the content yourself or your team uh, or for testing purposes. Uh, and then again, we're going to create a project for that client. You can call this whatever you like. Uh, and this is the key to getting set up quickly is we're going to choose a request template uh, that's been previously created in the system. So we've got some default ones there uh, for the general client content checklist. So we're going to choose that and we're going to give it a second and it's created us a few pages here uh, with you know, contact details for the contact page and some instructions. So this is pre-filled out, ready to go. And we've also got some other tab templates you can use. So we can say use template uh, homepage, for example. And when that's done, we've got a homepage tab here ready for filling out. Of course, you might have to edit this for your uh, individual client needs, um, but it's it's a good start to show you how to use Content Snare. And once we're done, all we have to do is choose a communications template. So none would mean no emails will go out or default. Uh, we, we'll cover these in a different video, but uh, when you hit publish, then your first email will go out to your client. But in this case, it's going to come directly to you because we use the internal switch.